Alrighty, alrighty. Hey, Robert. Good to see you here, man. Great stuff. You gotta love today's live. And I see Tom has just uh, tuned in there. Tom Boyd, thank you so much. And Nicole. Oh my God, all the regulars are in the house. Now today's live show is brought to you by the makers of the Eco Torch and the LED Owl, which you can purchase $2 from Target. Not. <laughs> all right, so hopefully you're having a fantastic day. It's the end of the week and I'm really, really excited. We've just gotten results in and I'm about to just, uh, yeah. Take off my tie, go off and celebrate a couple of birthdays, etc, etc. Okay, now my name is Prosper Tarulinga and I'm the founder and CEO of Live Long Digital. Essentially, we're a digital marketing company that would help you with all the digital marketing strategies to help you start, scale and grow a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And if you have been following me for a while, you notice that every single day at 2 p.m. AEST for 30 minutes, we sit around here and we discuss how we can help you earn a lot more money with a little bit less struggle. Okay, so right today I was talking about um, this little toy here. It's um, it's called the Eco Torch and it's an LED light torch. But the funny thing about this, right? Let me just say hi to a few people before I get into this. Tina, how's it going? Uh, Nicole, Barbara, Green Tree, thank you so much for tuning in. And I see Michael Carpenter is in the house too. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. I was still telling you that today's show is brought to you uh, live by this um, Eco Torch, and it's called the LED Owl. My little girl was playing with this, and then I took it away from her, but it has taught me a very, very big lesson. All right, I'll be on with the lesson real soon. Tando, kunja nimganwami. Alright, yeah? so I was playing with this, my little girl was playing with this, she likes the sound, listen to it, alright, and then it, it flashes a light, I don't know if you can see the light there, alright, so so the more you keep playing with it, I think it's got a dynamo in there, the, the more the light comes out, now look at that, alright, and then whenever you stop plugging it, you have no light, all right? Now, can you imagine if you were in a really, really dark place and all you had to do was constantly charge it like this, how much of the light would you have and wouldn't you get tired, all right? So what I just thought really is, this is exactly what our business life is or our businesses are like. The more, I mean, the, the, if we stop charging them like that, we don't have a light. So that means if we stop working in our businesses, then we don't have prospects, then we don't have income, then we don't have cash flow, then we don't have a life, and we don't have anything that we can enjoy. Can somebody confirm to that? So look, like just like this light, a lot of our businesses depend on us working on the business 24-7 with no time because the moment you stop working there, you, you, you stop you know, receiving clients. You no longer have contracts. You no longer have people that want to do business with you. If that's the case with your business right now, just type in um, number one, all right? Just type in the number one so that you would actually really get more value with what I'm about to say um, after this, all right? So like I'm saying, I want to help you build systems in and around your business so that it can actually operate for you so that you too can have um, you know, free time and enjoy, um, you know, the, the, the benefits of actually owning a business, all right? So I'm going to go back to this again. See, there's no light right now, but the more you keep tagging onto it, the more you keep tagging onto it, that's how you get the light, which is exactly how a lot of people are doing or are running their businesses, all right? Now, Michael says, I'm also opening my first ever course this up and coming Monday. That's pretty good. Um, I see you're making a lot of progress, Mike. That's very, very good. But make sure it's sustainable, make sure it's duplicatable, and make sure it will carry you through, all right? There's, there's this whole thing about do, 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 but is it repeatable? Is it... Um, you know, is it something that you can literally um, work through and not have to, uh, I mean, it, it, does it stop when you stop working in your business? How are you going to be doing it? That's the reason why I posted up a question earlier on and I was like, is your business going to survive in the year 2018? All right. I asked.
asked, is your business going to survive in the year 2018? Or do you have to keep grinding to make sure that you've got the lights on in your house? Do you have to keep working behind the bu- your business to make sure that you've got lights, lights um, in the office? All right. And I'm supposing that you hear about this all the time, that a lot of startups, they actually fail uh, to succeed in maybe the first year, the second year or the third year. And do you actually know the reason why that is? The reason why that is, is because the business owners are not doing anything to enhance their own longevity. They're not, um, you know, maintaining themselves. Uh, They're not entertaining themselves to keep passionate about the job. They're not exercising. They're not taking on any hobbies. They're not learning enough. They get too complacent um, with what they're doing. They're not being mindful about, first of all, themselves, their clients, what they're offering. Uh, They're not being mindful about those that actually make the business go. This is what they're doing 24-7. All right. And the moment they stop, the light goes out. All right. Now I want you to start taking stock and start auditing. What is it? What activities are you doing within your business when you know when you call it free time or when you're when when you're relaxing? Are you doing anything in your spare time that actually enhances or rejuvenates you so that you are in front of your um you know in front of your business or you you are the person that's leading your business? All right. A lot of us are not doing enough to meet new people. We're not doing enough to learn what new things are coming up within our industry. We keep on holding on to the story that we were told ages ago. And as we would notice, business plans, business models are changing because of, first of all, technology, the way people are now consuming content. Are you keeping up with what's happening around you? Who of your customers are still engaged with your business? What are they purchasing more of from you? Are you giving them that or are you taking away what is no longer serving you? All right. So most of these things, people think it is very, very, um, you, you need maybe a complicated system or you need a complicated overhaul, but a lot of business success starts with you, the business owner. All right. What are you doing in your spare time to make sure that you're catching up with, um, lost time, you're catching up with your customers, you're catching up with people that are in your industry so that you, um, you know, always top of mind to those people that might refer work to you. All right. What are you doing in your spare time that is actually propelling you to be successful? Are you sitting back and watching and binge watching Netflix? Are you sitting back and getting drunk with the homies? Are you sitting back and smoking, um, you know, or, or, or indulging in other things that are not enhancing you um, going further? The reason why I'm saying that today is because today is a Friday. A lot of people will be like, yeah, Friday, take off your tie, throw it away. And then pretty much after that, you go motherless. And then we hear back from you on, uh, say, on Monday morning when you're complaining, oh, my hangover, oh, Friday happened to me, etc., etc." I would think that if you're going to be serious about being a big player in um, you know, the year 2018, you've got to start changing just a few habits to make sure that you are going to be sitting in the front row seat to see your business and to see your creation unfold in front of you. All right. Now, Steve Thompson, thank you so much for yesterday, man. We had a fantastic time um, recording the show with you. I can't wait to see the results. And what are you saying? Training in the gym, getting an even more positive mindset strong. Thank you so much. I know you love what you're doing. And we did talk about the things that you can do that over the weekend you can actually go to the market and mix and mingle with people because let me tell you something social media really is not marketing in and of itself if you are not actually going to meet the people that you will transact or do business with most of your businesses involve actually talking to people now in this whole week how many new people did you reach out to or did you speak to or how many new people did you um you know um, you know find out if your position or your work can help them all right we probably just sit back and expect our funnel to bring in leads but are we actively going into people's uh, news feeds and looking and, and, and really deciphering what is it that they're trying to say and figuring out if we cannot help them. 
Because a lot of people, as you would know, they would never put up their hand to say, oh, I think I need help with maybe if you're a mindset coach or I need help with, um, you know, clarity. Because as entrepreneurs or as people, we always want to think that we've got our shit together. Well, in actual fact, we don't. And if you're experienced in your work, you can actually tell that I think Prosper is missing out on X, Y and Z. And I think I can help him achieve A, B, C. Right? I don't think we're doing all of that enough because at the end of the day, there's a lot that I see in people's news feeds and no one, it's like low hanging fruit, but no one is actually going in to close the deal. And I can also see that these people are actually also not reading to understand what the market really needs. Because if you understand your market, if you understand your audience, then you would know what pain they're going through, then you would know what they actually need, and then you go back and create something that they actually want. Everybody else on the market who's selling things that people don't want is because they haven't done their research. They haven't taken the time to actually figure out, am I needed in the market? What am I going to be giving that is so unique that people are going to come running? to get it all right i think 2018 is going to be the benchmark for those people that are going to be um you know winning or losing all right because 2018 is going to come in different um there's going to be vr there's going to be a lot more technical changes i just noticed right now facebook is also going to be changing the way people comment you're right. The, you know how you've got a colored background on a status that is also being brought onto the comments. All right. They are in initiating people to actually engage with your stuff. So what are you doing to foster that engagement? Do people actually know that you exist? Because if you're going to kick off your boots and take off your, um, your tie and not be in touch with people that are probably going to be paying um, you know, for, for your existence in business, then I think you are really, really wasting your time. Because the more effect you have on other people you know, is a valuable currency. More effect, more impact, more income. All right. So if you're not doing anything right now to show your value to the people, what makes you think that in the next year they're going to remember you? What makes you think that in 2018 they're going to be knocking on your house's door and saying, hey, Prosper, remember what you said on that other video? I'm now ready to pay you a lot of money so that you can actually, um, you know, start helping me. So whatever you're doing right now, you should be in preparation for the coming year. Because if you, if you haven't gotten business in 2017 right now, I think you need to go back and start looking at your unique selling proposition. When the year started, maybe that's when you started your business or you were going into year two or year three. If you're in year four of business or anything above that right now, 2018 should now be the real deal of you actually starting to make it, make it rain for your business. So what are you doing and you know on days like this when it's a Friday during your free time what are you doing so that it carries over to your success and your professional endeavors because whatever you do everything every single thing you do matters whoever you talk to it all matters today for example I've been in touch with three people two podcasts that I've already done and one of them was just an impromptu visit on somebody's wall all right, and then we did a live and it was there. You've got to just be ready every single moment that you have. You have to be making sure you are honing your pitch. You are practicing it so much that you know it from the back of, you know, from the back of your hand. That's the things that you should be doing in your spare time instead of binge watching through narcotics or, you know, uh, Game of Thrones or whatever you guys are watching these days. Those guys have already sold, you know, you on what they're doing. So who are you going to, you know, how are you going to sell yourself to the people that you're going to be claiming money from? All right. In, you, in, in your spare time, you should be generating content that you can publish. Because these days, publishing yourself has become so easy. And then it also creates credibility. And it also creates people getting to know you. As you know, people do business with those that they know, like, and trust. All right, and considering we are now living outside the 24-hour box, what are you doing? What are you putting in place for those people that are, are, are going to be watching or following you when they're not in your time zone? 
Because obviously the people that are around you are not buying from you. So you got to start thinking going global. What are you doing to place yourself into the global market? What are you doing to expand the territory or the reach or your influence or people that could actually be paying, um, you know, be paying you to, to, to survive in business? I always tell this. I always say this. Every entrepreneur is like a president. And those people that are paying you or people that, that are, uh, you know, are supporting you, they're like voting for you with their credit cards. The moment they stop voting for you, the moment they, um, you know, the, the, the moment you, you stop being in power. All right. What are you doing with your free time? Some of you are really, you know, maybe you could be struggling to find success as an entrepreneur and you might really want to just really take a closer look at what you're doing at the time when you leave work or when you're not at the office or you're doing non-work related things. All right. Humans are creatures of habits. What sort of habits have you taken on over the years that are not helping you move forward? Maybe sometimes you, you may be asking, how does this guy so, have so much energy? Well, first of all, it's my passion. Second of all, I exercise, so I'm always filled up with energy. How often are you exercising as, as an entrepreneur? It's not going to be a hack. It's not going to be uh, some trick. You got to move something so that blood flows to your brain and so that you can think on your feet and you can answer questions from your clients as soon as they come in. Are you, you know, you know, you know, working out is, is, is really good for the body. First of all, this is the only vehicle that is going to propel you up until your end days. You better make it comfortable. Do you know what I mean? It, it prepares your body and your mind. And according to a lot of studies, this is something I'm not qualified to speak about, but it's something that I know that I do personally. People who actually exercise for at least 30 minutes a day and maybe um, five to, to six times a week, they actually enjoy better brain health. You know why? You need oxygen going through to your medulla oblongata, which happens to be the thing that makes you think. Now, how are you going to be operating on various wavelengths, you know, ask, you know, operating with your clients, dealing with everybody else, if your brain is not in the right place? You can't do well if you don't feel well. So you got to make sure that in your spare time, if you, you get bored or whatever, exercise, do something. Do you know what I mean? I'll show you something real quick, real funny. You know, you don't have to go to the gym. I've got this little bad boy here. So you move it across the, 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 uh, my office wall or, you know, or a wall or something like that. Just move, guys. It increases your blood flow, increases your energy. It just makes you feel alive. And people really want to hang around with people that are alive these days. Do you know what I mean? So it uplifts your mood. You know, you reduce a lot of stress because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, what we really, really want to do, what we really, really want to do is to be, do and have and feel so good that we're carrying over our work and people get to understand what we do and how we do it. It increases your creativity. You know what I mean? You could do it while you're on the phone with clients. Exercise is just the best thing you can do to stay alert. And you, you actually feel alive while you're running your business. In the last week or so, I've done over 24 videos, some on, on live, some on um, interviews, uh, some are just, you know, uh, between clients that are private and some are from family and stuff like that. You've got to stay on top of things because you know what? As an entrepreneur, look at this. You are supposed to be the person that people look up to. You have to be ahead of the curve because people want to follow leaders. People are just moving around looking for somewhere to plug themselves in. Now, if you're not going to show that you're going to be there, you're going to, you, you, you've created an environment that people can actually come around and, 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 and be around you and they feel comfortable because you know where you're going. Nobody's going to come and follow you. That's why I asked that question. 2018, how many of you guys are going to be there with me? Because I know for one, I'll be there. I mean, I'm in it for the long haul. Do you know what I mean? So, you know, the more you exercise, the happier you become. That then leads to maybe some of that exercise can be, you know, translated into hobbies. What, what hobbies do you have? Can you type in the comments there what hobby you have? What, what is it that you do in your spare time? What's your hobby? I go cycling every Sunday. 
between 30 to 50 k's me and my homies we go up the mountains and i'm always i'm always the one winching i'm not the fittest of them all because you know they they they're buff and well they yeah they like what they're doing you know have you ever noticed that some of the most successful people that you know they lead very interesting lives do you know what i mean my other ho hobby is acting and modeling when I'm not around here, you know what I mean? I'm probably shooting some very, um, you know, interesting uh, stuff. You know, and then that creates content for me. That that just creates, you know, another avenue for me to, to, to explore my creativity. And it gives me another lease on life. You know, so that, that some of those things, because right now we're now living in a society where most of our clients are content hungry. How are you going to be giving them content if you're not doing anything outside of your work? You know? So your personal pastimes, choose to do what you can enjoy and also create content around that. Because people buy things from people that they know, like, and trust. So the more they see you doing up and about, they now envy that lifestyle. So you want to make sure that in 2018, you've got some hobbies that you can then translate to your business. And let me tell you something. A lot of entrepreneurs are always out there doing stuff, golf, tennis, um, cycling, whatever, whatever. You can actually get more business out there than you would on your Facebook profile. Yeah. You know, and in the process, I see uh, Nicole. Nicole said uh, learning. You're right about learning. That's the reason why I asked for a few people to ask to get me some books. You know why? Because I, I'm I've got this unsatiable, um, you know, need to learn more things. Stay hungry, stay foolish. That's what uh, Steve Jobs said. Do you know what I mean? Success really sometimes means the fo the fostering of learning. If you think you are a know it all, if you think you know everything, then nobody's gonna wanna be around you because then they don't feel like they can impart anything you already telling the universe that you're a fool. All right. So if you really want to inspire anyone, the love of learning you, it, it has to to come from within yourself, because we are here to live, we're here to learn, and we're here to contribute. Now, you cannot contribute if you haven't learned, all right? And you cannot learn if you haven't lived. So all of those things are really, really crucial. You got to make sure that your exercise, your hobbies, that's the living part. The learning, obviously, you got to be reading and, and constantly be around people that will always elevate you and make you want more in life. And when you then contribute, stuff like this happens. You get people that really want to be around you. You get people that want to learn all, all the things that you do. And you get fulfilled in life. That way you now create impact. And impact results into income. Which is what we all want, right? So if you really, really notice, we're doing it all wrong. We, we are trying to, to get to the end um, you know, of, of, of it all. About, you know, we, we, we are craving for things that... Um, uh, sold to us on deceptive Facebook ads, but we are not putting in the work. Stephen Sidon, how are you going, my friend? Thank you so much. Yeah, whatever, whatever really is supporting your business, whatever actually makes you tick, guys. There's a lot of there's a lot of places to learn. There's a lot of content that's been put out on the internet there, but it's surprising how many people don't actually take action on it. You know. You learn about finances, you learn about personal hygiene, you learn about a lot of things. You, you now start really, you know, having a very, very high responsibility or, you know, a high reservations for yourself. Because the more you know, you, because you don't know what you don't know right now. All right. So in your spare time right now, we're going into the weekend. What are you doing to enhance, you know, what the, the work that you've been putting in? If you were watching um, the video when I started, I was showing you, I was pretending that this show is brought to you by um, the Eco Torch, but the LED owl. This is a $2 toy that my, um, that my wife bought my little girl, but it's brought to me a very valuable lesson. If I'm not working in my business, nothing is happening. What happens in my idle time? Because the, if you want light from this torch, you gotta keep grinding. But what happens when I get old and I get tired? What have I done? Who have I impacted? And how have I carried it forward? So that's the reason why I asked, are you 
doing things in and around your business to make sure that it, it will still function when you're not there? Or if, if that's the whole thing, are you actually working on, on, on you know, getting yourself in, into, in better shape, learning more things so that you can improve what you're offering? I did mention that you have to leave, you have to uh, learn, and then you have to, um, you know, contribute to, to, to the greater humanity. That's how you then get fulfilled. You have to be of service. If you start losing perspective of what actually matters to you, try and do something nice for somebody and you will feel how amazing that feels. Do you know what I mean? Just take, take the time to serve those that are less fortunate. Give, give back to, to, to your community and, and just, just help whoever you think needs your help. Because we get caught up in our own ego, thinking, oh, uh, I think I'm not good enough. Go out there and give a dollar to somebody who, who wants it more, and then you actually realize you've got more. Because while, while we are just around ourselves, we don't get to see how other people have it bad. All right? So if you give back to your community, or you just help out or volunteer, that way, you first of all, you could create content around that. You now appear in the eyes of your prospects as somebody who is actually a really good human. Do you know what I mean? The best way to actually put your work and your life in actual perspective is, and, and you can actually reduce stress, is to not focus on your problems, but to actually help other people that are much more in need. And then you would figure out that you are actually the source of all the things that you're looking for. Right now, we, we, we might want a, 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 a good house, we might want a, a perfect car, we might want the holidays, etc., etc. But there's somebody out there who has got no place to sleep, they don't have food for the last couple of days, they haven't had clean water, and then they probably don't even, you know, have rest because of maybe their, their state and, and condition. Go and spend a minute with somebody who, who is... Who is way less than you and then you would notice that you can be of so much service and it would actually make you feel good this is selfish what i'm doing right now this is so selfish it's got nothing to do with you at all me coming out on this video every day for 30 minutes that's why i don't care nobody's there but i know i'm giving that makes me so happy when I finish doing this. You know why? Because I know even if one person watches this video, maybe their life will change or they will have a change in perspective. I'm being very selfish right now. Very selfish. You know? And then at the end of the day, obviously, it's the weekend. Spend time with those that you really care about. I put up a video um, a little bit while ago because you're going to be going through a lot as an entrepreneur. You're going to need people to hug you, to just tell you everything is going to be okay. Don't ever forget those people that are close to you. Heck, go spend time with your grandma this weekend and tell her everything that you're finding online. You know why? Because then she'll go and talk about you at bingo tonight. All right? In your spare time, connect with other human beings. Get, a, get, a, get their perspective about what it is that you're doing. You could have been working on an app or you could be working on anything right now. And if you're not really connecting with people that actually care about you and they're going to tell you, hey, grandson, hey, granddaughter, maybe, maybe you want to try asking Jack from down the street, his father does something like this. Our grandmothers have been around long enough. They have experience. Find out from them. Learn from them. Yeah, stop just, you know, fixating on, on work and stuff like that. Connect with humans because that's where the transactions happen. That's where all the money comes from. The money we want doesn't come from robots. The money we want comes from humans. And these humans have emotions. These humans have feelings. Go in, find out what those feelings are. Find out how you can you solve them, how you can console them, how you can tap into those feelings. When you come back on Monday, you will have a good story to tell. Guys, I always, always, always want you guys to win, no matter what. I really, really want that whatever you're doing, it's, it's a representation of you know, your, your hard work and it's, it's all going to be fruitful. Yeah? When you start connecting to real people, you actually start getting more clients, more customers without wasting your time. 
Because people now know you, they now trust you, and then they like you now. All right? I created a blueprint on how you can actually, um, you know, start scale and grow to create and foster these relationships. And I really, really want that maybe I put it into your hands. All right? So, you know, if it sounds good to you and if it's something that you really want to do so that you go and step into 2018 with more fire and, and really, really excited to be there and having a business that's profitable and enjoyable, type in Blueprint and then we can have a chat over the weekend. Yeah, I really, really want you to win. You have no idea, guys. First of all, I want you to build an accurate audience. Second of all, I want you to actually engage that audience. And then when you sell to that audience, you are happy. I'm happy. Everybody's happy. I wish you a fantastic weekend. And I'll check you guys out on Monday. And like I said, guys, the only way this light comes on is if I keep grinding. What happens when I'm not grinding? No lights? I don't wish that on you. Hope you have a fantastic weekend, guys. And thank you so much for the support and everything else that comes along with it. Thank you so much.